I reckon we might get some results today. <laughs> Yardi's in the background laughing at me. It's match day, Arsenal versus Chelsea. Today, I'm actually feeling merry, not just because it's Christmas, but I reckon we might get some results today. Yardi's in the background laughing at me. <laughs> it's gotta be me, I know it sounds crazy, but I think we might get three points against yeah, what Chelsea. Are you what, are you what are you saying, Yardi? There will be a result at the end of the game. Yeah, there's always a result at the end of the game. <laughs> You're right about that. Um, yeah, no, you're not feeling confident about a win at all. A draw, maybe? No? If it's a draw, it's going to be a boring thing, though. It's either going to be a Chelsea battering or a boring thing, though. Alright, what is your score prediction, Yardi? 4 0 Chelsea. Yes, wow, that type of beating, yeah? Yeah. Listen, man. Hopefully, we can turn up. Oh, my God, it's one of my favorite kids. But I know it's not going to happen. I know it's not going to happen. You sound so sad already. I am, man, but I am. Let's have a drink, my sorry. <laughs> COVID secure, yeah? I'm protect. I'm, I'm protect. Josh, I've never seen you like this before. What happened? What? He's always like this. No, he's normally got that mask, the ego, well, fresh one, ego one. one. Now, now he's got two and I'm gloves. Like, I'm like tied, but health and safety tied. Worried? Do you think we're going to lose? No, no, of course not. What, you're confident, yeah? Always, always, always. Well, Arsenal wins. Guess what? I'm feeling confident as well. I think we're going to get a result today. That's good. How was your Christmas? Yeah, fine, thanks. How was yours? It was amazing. Oh, that's good. You don't sound interested at all. He's under pressure from the camera. Rose, a little Bombay, a little pizza rack, can we fade it? As soon as we step in, hey, we got your chick and your chick and... No, there's none. Is it? Pips in the dishes. <laughs> you know when I first started YouTube, they used to always tell me to get back in the kitchen. So here I am. <laughs> right where you belong, baby. Gardy's <laughs> giving us some rum. And I'm feeling so tipsy already. Sad <laughs> <laughs> line. I'm mate, I'm in the gym. Oh, We're in the studio today <laughs> and it is absolutely so freezing. Can't, can't even take our coats off. Here we go. I get, what, why are you coughing? <laughs> Alright, what is the rules for half time, Cecil? Half time, the influence can go up, have a toilet, you know, have a, <laughs> have a little snack, have a drink. We're going to have a half time show with me and James. <laughs> And then once the second half starts, I need you all back in my tub. Wait, this oh. is like we're at school. Yeah, I'm making sure everything's done professionally yeah. today. Oh, Do we have to see if our fingers on our lips as well? No talking. Yeah, no talking on the sides, please. You know, we've got, we've got to represent the Dumbrobby. We've got our chaser here. I've got a little rider today. We've got this prep for me. We've got some drinks. <laughs> you better have that half time, mate. Some sweets. <laughs> so cold in the studio. Kalechi, it's freezing, man. How are you here in just a t shirt? Where's your coat? Well, I'm British, innit? <laughs> Did you hear that? I'm British, innit? I'm British. Which part are you? Me? You represent oh. Nigeria. No, I'm, I'm, I'm from Leeds, fam. What? No, I'm from Leeds. You're yeah, the local I'm British. I don't know. I don't do coats. I'm from Leeds. I'm from Leeds. You get me? I'm from Leeds. I'm a Yorkshire man. You get me, fam? Hey, you know? <laughs> <laughs> what <did it? laughs> what did it? Oh, God. This is how they do it in Leeds. <laughs> Our new cameraman for today as well. It's all changed here at AFTV. It's all changed. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. That's it. Look at that. Woo, taking leads. Oh, it's a goal. Come on. Once again, no call. Once again, no call. Take your time. Don't jinx us now, sis. Sis, <laughs> you get substitute half Oh my god! Turn out! Shut up! What? Oh my god! I knew we was going to get a win today! No, that is mad! That is mad! We bet, baby! Ha <laughs> ha! 
How big of a win was today? <laughs> what you know? Let's go. Always got the dancing vibe. <laughs> today's win was fantastic. Fantastic. As expected, you know. Well, was it expected? I mean, before the yeah, game, yeah, yeah, was you yeah. expecting a win from well, us? When I saw the changes, we just made pace, energy, fight. And the young boys turned up. They, they showed it. That's all you need, you know. When we look at someone, we look at William. He has the ball. He's walking. This nah. We need you to ghost past players, run past them. And the other boys did it today. So yeah, when I saw it, I was very positive. I was just only scared because Gabriel was missing and Luis wasn't there. So I'm like experience and all that. But Marie and uh, Holding did well as well. So I'm happy. So I mean, with the performances that they've put up, do we keep this starting lineup now? Do we make any changes? Yeah, I mean, obviously we have to make changes in defence because um, someone like Mari hasn't got pace, and you can see that with that penalty, it's, it's all about pace, you know. So obviously Gabriel will come in. Holding did quite all right, you know, but still needs to improve some of his passing game. Yeah, just one or two changes, and then you keep the rest of them. But if Partey comes back, his quality he has to play ahead of Nani. But the front three probably might have to stay. Maybe Abama are coming in at some point for Lacazette. But then Lacazette's pressing was good. So I want competition for places. And this is a welcome headache. This is just what I want. Let us have this welcome oh, headache. And then we we'll go from there. I mean, Gabriel's looking to be out for the next, well, three games he's meant to be because out. Because of for. the isolation. Yeah, because he's been in contact with someone that's tested positive for COVID. Mm. So. I mean, you see, this COVID news, I don't understand it. And, I mean, Gabriel Jesus tested COVID positive, isn't it? We were in contact with them on Tuesday. Mm. So, well, why well, shouldn't they be isolated? So, I don't know how it works. But, I mean, if it's what it is, then we have to, you know, play with, um, you know, Mari and, um, you know, hold him. But someone like Chambers has been playing with the under 23s. Now he's coming back gradually. Hopefully, he gets a chance as well. Because we only had Mustafi on the bench in terms of defending. So, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll try and cope without him, obviously. We know that Danny Welbeck will be a handful, but we'll try. Do you think Brighton as a whole is perhaps going to be a bit more of a challenging game for us? Um, Yeah, of course. We're playing away from home as well. Um, um, they want to prove a point, people like Welbeck, like I said. But um, it's something that if we played, we were playing with Smith Rowe playing in number 10. You can see what he was doing, pulling players, you know, with, I mean, his drive with the ball. They're very good result, in fact. Climb back up the table as well. <laughs> very important. Very, very important. Very needed. 14th. We'll manage it. Um, I, I was really gutted when we considered that goal. I was so angry because I just knew it finished. He just kept getting the goals. You know, let's be creeping it. In this league, it's quite, it's still tight. The difference Very between tight. us and Chelsea is about eight points, I think. It's, yeah, or nine points. Something, or something. like that. Top do, four. Do, do, do you understand? So, it's, I know it's not easy to get there, but if you have a run of games, I was listening to the commentators at the Leicester and the Man United game. Leicester won four straight. Man United won like six or something. And then they were able to climb up with table. So if you just get momentum, you climb up. And lastly, how big of a save was that from Leno? Wow. <laughs> Man, like spectacular. Spectacular. Is that, I mean, for me, that jump and hop penalty technique, for me, sometimes it shows arrogance. I mean, that's my opinion. Just hit it. You know, hit it. Because if you miss... They're going to come for you. Just hit it. And if you miss that, fine, you missed. Not the hopping thing. It doesn't make sense to me. So, but Gracie from Leno, he kept his focus and um, he judged the ball well. And I'm happy for him. Really happy for him. It might be hard to pick, but who was your man of the match today? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the most difficult, you know. I, I went for Martinelli. Um, Sky went for Saka. Anybody in that front three could have been man of the match. Even if I in the whole team, they really played well. So... I guess um, Saka gets the nod, but every other person really played well. It's not often we get to say that and have difficulty in picking one it's good player really that difficult. actually stood out. I just, it was you know, so good. While I was punting for 
Martin because his energy, you know, when he's moving, others move, you know, he's always. And I, I was praying for him to score that goal, you know. Likewise, that bicycle as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's good. But again, we need to manage him. You know, he just came back from a long time injury, so good game management by the coach as well. He doesn't get enough praise, so I thought that good one. <laughs> We are leaving the studio happy today because we got a 3-1 win over Chelsea. Big game for us and a big, big result. Yeah. I mean, three amazing goals. Great save by Leno as well on the penalty. I mean, can we just keep this form? Can we keep this team, young, energetic players that made a difference on the pitch? Can we keep them? Don't make any changes, Arteta. Keep this going. And can we just stay on a good form and try and climb back up the table?